This is the morning routine on the way to my studio. This is our pretty lake. This is the most important part of the street. Yum, thank you very much. <laughs> surrounds and then my earliest influence was Anselm Kiefer who's my all-time favorite artist he's a German artist who does these really amazing kind of woman of antiquity sculptures with like all this barbed wire coming out of here representing witches and things and they're really incredible um, and so from that I was really influenced and started doing these little kind of like baby dresses little sculpture things that I did when I was at art school in Nelson um, and then yeah and it's just like all the, like my childhood with the drone of being dragged around to demolition sites to find old bits and pieces. <laughs> Loving old yeah. things and rust. I rust remember and that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you're going to come along. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> like 12. 
it's still going on. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't stopped. Um, but the first time I actually thought about painting on canvas, um, on um, clothing, was after I used to work at Gallery 33, and we had a show by Miranda Parks, and she does these amazing kind of like billowing canvases. And I thought, oh, I can paint on dresses like that. And yeah, and because I've always had a huge passion for clothing and fashion design and wearable arts and everything. Um, it's really just kind of all fused in together and created this monster that you can see now. Um, and so my work's strongly influenced by all that I see, like um, traces of Jim Dine's trench coats, which it's not here but it's at home, but you can still see it in some of them. Um, like Robert, Rauch Robert Rauschenberg's um, assemblage works and a bit of, um, you know, Ruben Patterson has a bit of works and things. And yeah, but so I kind of like just in my everyday life, I just get pulled in from anything I see, just pops into my head. You never quite know where it's going to pop out in, a, in an <laughs> artwork. <laughs> The idea to come up to this old homestead started brewing in my mind a few months back when I started this free hanging series. Um, so there's a, a studio space I share with my husband who's taking this video right now and he's got took a beautiful photo up in this old homestead um, a few years ago of the, well because a bit of the backstory is really because this place has been vandalized a lot more in the last year and so there used to be a lot more things in it and so he'd come up here and taken some beautiful photos of the the, just the objects that used to be in here. And so there's this photo of Mark's in our studio of this old vintage jacket hanging up in the space. I think it was on the back of that door. And so I've been having that in the back of my mind as I've been painting these works. And I thought it'd be wonderful to come up and bring these up here and put them in, in situ with the, the vintage shirts and the vintage mirrors in this old homestead up in Quailburn. And yeah, and then with these installations, these are, because a lot of my work I do assemblage, and so these are um, earmarked to go on a painting that I'm working on at the moment. But we thought before they got stuck on there permanently, we'd bring them up and we can have a bit of fun doing some kind of old school, um, still life photography with my strange antlers and flowers and paraphernalia that I've got and skulls and things. So yeah, having lots of fun up here today. <laughs> Need your help to hang it, please, darling. <laughs> 